Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about simple colors again. This time we're looking at the hashtag Get Bright collection and this is in the new The Trend series from Simple Colors and this is the back to school. So there are six new shades in this collection, no re-promotes, and these are neon matte polishes. So they're gonna dry matte and they're neon. I have the orange on today and they're kind of like a blasted neon look because they have a lot of white in them. And before I get started, let me tell you what's on my lips. This is Girly Pink from CoverGirl in the Queen collection. It's kind of like a metallic shimmery lipstick. So it feels very, it feels more like a balm though. Anyway, let's go ahead and get to swatching. I did find these polishes at Walgreens. So let's start with the pink. This first one up is called Make a Scene. And let me just speak a little bit about formula for a second. As neons are, they dry fast. So pretty much all neons are notorious for that. It's something in the pigment that makes them dry kind of fast along with drying matte. Um, these polishes dried a little bit faster than I'm comfortable with, like a little bit too fast for me personally. What that means is it makes it form like little ridges on your nails because it's not all getting 100% smooth before it's drying. So in that sense of these polishes, they get a little bit less you know, they're a little bit less awesome for me because they're a little bit difficult to apply. Not impossible, just a little bit on the frustrating side. Some of them I really needed three coats to completely get them streak free. And so yeah, just for that reason, these aren't really my favorite. Some of the colors is really, really good at bright shades, but you know, neons are hard. So anyway, um, these do look beautiful once you have them you know laid really nice and streak free but up until then it can be it can be somewhat of a struggle not really really bad but just a little bit so I wanted to mention that just because I was really excited about these and then I went to go put them on and I was like oh this is kind of tricky sometimes so make a scene it's just a beautiful bright not quite bubblegum but it's pink it's a neon pink with a lot, a lot of white in it. These are actually called pastel neon mattes. Sorry, pastel. They're adding that in there because they did put a lot of white in here, so it's making them more of a pastel. So this first one was make a scene. And my pictures are all gonna be without top coat just to show them in their natural form. Next up we have the orange. That is the one that I have on my nails today, and it is called In Your Elemelon, like element, but it's Elemelon. This is number 2289. And this one I didn't really care for. For me, oranges just aren't my favorite. This one feels like it just really washes me out and just not my fave. This was one of the ones that had the streakiest formula as well. So this one was a pass for me. But if you love oranges, you might really, really enjoy this shade. So live application here, I'm showing you two coats. And then my photo again will be without top coat. green and this one is really gorgeous really really fun this is a very bright yellowy green it is called acid test <laughs> this one was one of the most fun ones again I still did have the same kind of issues with the drying fast but if you're really steady handed and you can go really fast and just get a few strokes on there and not make too much mess then you might not have any issue with these at all so Anyway, this was number 2288, and this one was probably one of my favorites just because the color is so fun. up we have the blues this is the first one and here is the second one that is definitely a lot more cool tone but I love that they put two blues in here so this first one is called under the influence number 2298 and it's just a very beautiful light kind of sky blue again the same kind of application issues but once you have this laid down you know nice and evenly it does look really beautiful beautifully bright super fun pastel neon shades so again I'm going to be showing you a photo of this matte 
But you can of course add top coat to these, you know, maybe you wear this for a few days matte and then the next day you add top coat. It gives it a totally different look, equally as fun. So this one is Under the Influence. Okay, next up let's look at this blue. Now you know I'm gonna love this even more because it is cool toned. This is almost purple to me. Like this is definitely one of those periwinkle blue purples. So this one's called Quick Study 2290. Of course I love this. This is definitely one of my top picks. Um, it's just beautiful. It's like the essence of what a powdery neon is to be. This has so much white in it. This might actually have more white than it has the base pigment. In any case, I think it's beautiful, matte or glossy. It looks divine, nice and bright, like perfect neon pedicure right here. Ooh, love it. polish in here is another purple and this time it leads more on the red side than the blue equally as gorgeous very nice and bright pastel white based neon this is called lilac out loud and this is number 2291 again I had the same issues with all of these but this was another one that I just adored when it was nice and finished and I had the application smooth like I wanted it to look Pop a little top coat on here too. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I overall, I do like these polishes. Do I feel like they're must-haves for you? I don't think so. You know, they're only $2, but just because the formula was a little bit iffy, for those of us who collect tons of nail polish, you can really be discerning about, you know, how what kind of issue you want to have when you apply these. And again, maybe you won't have any issue with these at all. It's just for me, I swatch a lot of nail polish and it's really easy to spot the ones right at first that are going to give me a little hiccup. So I just wanted to let you guys know about that. But anyway, these are Walgreens and hopefully they will be for a while since they're a back to school collection. I have a feeling they're probably popping off the shelves pretty quick though because they're really beautifully bright shades. So anyway, I hope that you found that review helpful. Thanks for stopping in for another Simple Colors video. I hope that you're still finding them helpful. I will see you back for the next video. You guys have a good day. Bye.